I would like to welcome each of you to the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. Thank you all for being here with us on this um, important day. It is truly an honor to have Governor Jim Justice and Baby Dog with us today. We are so thankful for the leadership he has shown in promoting education in our state. I am also thankful that State Superintendent of Schools Dave Roach is here, along with Secretary Ruby of the Department of Tourism and Clinton Birch from the Department of Education, Technical Education. I think it's very fitting that the governor would make this important announcement regarding tourism and education in Nicholas County. Expanding tourism and educational opportunities are vital to the economic growth of West Virginia. Nicholas County is one of the premier tourist destinations in West Virginia is a shining example of how education and tourism work together to accomplish that goal. With Summersville Lake on one side of the county and the Monongahela Forest on the other, Nicholas County hosts well over a million visitors per year. That's no small feat considering our county population sits about 27,000 people. This has provided unique opportunities for our students here at the Nicholas County Career and Technical Center. Our students working in a public-private partnership with Mountain Lakes Campground in Summersville to construct seven rental cabins. Vis visitors from all across our nation have come to our lake and stayed in our cabins built by our students. Our students learn valuable skills that will make them employable adults and our local economy was boosted as a result. Most recently, our students have made an impact on the state's economy when they were chosen by Governor Jim Justice to construct nine supersized swings specially designed for visitors to take and post pictures of our beautiful state on social media. Our most innovative project, however, is the Good Golly Coffee Company, a student-designed, built, promoted, supplied, and managed coffee shop that has quickly become a favorite of locals. Our building construction students designed and constructed the coffee shop. Our electrical program students wired it. Our graphic design students designed the logo and packaging. Our Pro Start students prepared the food and even roast the coffee beans. Business students market and run the shop. The product they have produced is excellent and on par with any adult run entity. I'm very proud of our career center. It has a tremendous impact on our students by providing them with valuable skills and ensure they are employable as a result as a contribution it makes to our local community. That is why I'm so proud to stand here today with Governor Jim Justice, Superintendent Roach, and Secretary Ruby to make this important announcement. Thank you, Governor. Thank you so much. Talk next. I am. Okay. I'll go quick. Yeah, keep going. Baby dog's probably scared. Last yeah, time she dog. saw one of these swings, we put her on it, and I don't know that she no, liked she, that too much. She loved it. All right. Well, good afternoon. I am Chelsea Ruby. I am the Secretary of Tourism for West Virginia. Um, and what that means is I work for Governor Justice to promote tourism not only across the state, but literally across the world. So if you see the Almost Heaven ads, those are done by a great team that we have in Charleston. Um, we've got about 20 people who help us put all that together and a lot of partners across the state um, who help us get it started. Um, I am thrilled to be here today. I was telling the governor just as he got out of the car, this is one of my all-time favorite projects. So in five years, I've gotten to do a lot of really cool things, but this one's at the top of the list. So today we're here to talk about additional educational opportunities for students across the state. And I'll let the governor talk a little more about that, but I want to give you just a tiny snapshot into the opportunities that are available. We've all heard people say that there are no jobs in West Virginia, that you're going to have to move when you graduate, but that's not true. And today we're here to talk about explosive growth in tourism. So you all know it, you see it, you see these visitors in your county, it's going on across the state. The governor tripled the tourism marketing budget as soon as he came into office and has taken on a lot of other huge initiatives that have really made tourism a big, big deal in West Virginia. So today, as we speak, there are over 70,000 people in the state who are working in the tourism industry. Projections show that each year for the next three years, we're going to have more than 20,000 openings in tourism and hospitality in West Virginia. And about half of those will be management level positions. 
So I'm here to tell you that there are going to be a lot of opportunities and a lot of really, really great opportunities. So it's been a real joy to work with those of you who've worked on the swings, the tiny houses, the coffee shop, all the innovative things you're doing. And when we knew we were going to make this announcement today, I immediately knew that this was the place to do it. So thanks to all of you for everything you're doing. Um, it is really inspiring to me and to my team to see so many people excited about tourism. Um, and when you guys are starting to look for jobs, look me up, send me an email, and I'll help you out. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to Clinton Birch from the Department of Education, who's going to talk a little bit about the programs and what's getting started in the state today. Good afternoon, Governor Justice, and thank you for being here so very much, and all the students and uh, staff that have made this all possible uh, through CTE. Uh, Governor Justice, I just want to start off by saying uh, I have been in my position for a long time and have worked under a few different governors. One of the things that Governor Justice has done for education is something that you're seeing happening right here today, and that is the business partnerships that you have brought to education because career technical education in the state of West Virginia would not be possible without partnerships like what you're seeing here today. So I want to thank you from the Department of Ed and from myself as a personal West Virginia citizen for my whole life. Thank you for doing that for education. Thank you, sir. That also, uh, Superintendent of Schools David Roach and Secretary Chelsea Ruby, thank you guys for being visionaries to see how important these partnerships are for the students across West Virginia. This is just one example today of what you're seeing. But what you have here at Nicholas County is an opportunity for students. And what we want to do is take this opportunity and we want to grow this opportunity across the state. Last year alone, the state of West Virginia had over 50,000 students participate in a technical course in either high school or middle school. That number has doubled over the last five years. And with you hear 20,000 job openings over the next several years in tourism, that's why we all put our heads together and said, you know what, how do we tackle this? How do we bring education to the forefront to really make the economy and the workforce be ready for this demand that's coming? And that's what you're seeing here today. You have the swing project going on, which was a viral sensation. If you've been following anything on social media, I don't know how many different people that I have seen, including Baby Dog, on social media with these swings. But also the coffee shop. And I just heard from uh, Secretary Ruby that, you know, she is actually helping us promote the coffee shop by looking at partnerships and possibly some of the state parks and some other entities around the state. The students here, and, and I know that the group from the Pro Start, the instructors, you guys, hats off to you. This was an idea that was brought to us about three or four years ago at the Department of Ed, and it sounded like, mm, I don't know how well that's going to work, but yeah, let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's give the students an opportunity. Hats off to you because you took that opportunity and you ran with it. So from all of us at the department, I want to thank you guys here at Nicholas County Career Center, Tom Bayless, the director, Donna Tietrich. You guys have really taken every opportunity and created this for these students. So with all that, I just want to, yes, please give them a round of applause. With that, Governor Justice, I, I hope that this is something that you look at in the future and we really make you proud that knowing that you brought these businesses together today to really impact the state of West Virginia. So thank you again. Thank you all so much. Now is it my turn? Okay. Well, first of all, let me say this. We've got some really important folks here. Lots of, lots of people. We've probably got commissioners and all kinds of people from the community here. We've got senators, delegates, delegates, you know, friends of mine, Caleb and Heather and Vince and on and on. And I don't know who all else is here, but you surely got, you know, our secretary of tourism. You got wonderful people from the education department, whether it be Clinton or Dave. David and I played golf together, believe it or not, at Marshall University, and, and he was really good, and I was just kind of along for the ride in many ways. But, uh, but <clears throat> after he left, I became captain of the golf team the last two years and everything, so they were really destitute at that point in time. But, uh, but let me just tell you just this. 
You know me well enough to know I always speak from my heart. And I'm speaking first and foremost to these kids, but I absolutely I am speaking to our great superintendent of schools, all the great people that are teachers, and all the great people that inspire those kids. It's amazing what you're doing. I mean, really and truly, you're absolutely doing greatness like you can't imagine. I mean, just listen to this. So often, you know, whether it be in government or education or whatever it may be, you get just bogged down in the same old, same old, same old. You know, in all honesty, our federal government, a few years back, you know, there was a big article that they were, you know, wherever it was, you know, they were making $400 commode seats. And, and really and truly, there was basically the whole theme of the whole thing was they were making a product that was completely, didn't make any sense, it was unmarketable, and everything else. But what you're doing is you're applying common sense, absolute reason, and logic into what you're doing. And with all that being said, that's what I'm all about. That's how I want to be. You know, for God's sakes of living, and I say it over and over, but anybody that walk around with a bulldog all the time, or anybody that would be willing to stay the state to turn the bulldog's hind end around to the camera, I mean, absolutely is not your everyday politician. You see, I'm you. I really am. I'm just you. I love to laugh and I love to smile and absolutely I love to get something done. There isn't any part of me that wants to do the $400 commode seat. Absolutely with all in me, these people, these people, the people that are right here am amongst us right now are the engines that make this country run all the time. Absolutely, we're going to start training and teaching our kids in school to, to absolutely be ready for these jobs that are on the way, and they're only the tip of the iceberg. Now, I'm only going to be your governor another year and a half, but honest to God, we've got this thing jump-started right now to where absolutely we could take off like you can't fathom. That 21,000 could turn into 210,000. The opportunities are off the chart for really great paying jobs and great careers to where you're not going to have to go to Denver and Charlotte and Atlanta to find employment for your hopeful families. There's opportunity right here in this great state, the greatest state in the country, without any question, you know you know how good things are with your families. We got problems, sure we got problems. But for God's sakes of living, we're craftsmen. Look at this. Look at that swing. Look at what you're doing with your coffee shop and on and on and on. You're craftsmen. You're faith-based people. You're absolutely people that know the difference between right and wrong. People that aren't in this thing, for, for it doesn't matter if it's right or if it's wrong, it's, it only matters what you can get by with. That's not us. That's not us. And so today, all of a sudden, the outside world, in every publication known to man, is saying, of all things, West Virginia is the place to go to. Are you kidding me? Really and truly, would any of you have ever, and if I can use the slang, thunk it? Anybody here, me included, baby dog included, is there anybody that would have thunk it? And if, you're, if you say yes, you're just a dreamer. But it's real. It's real. Today, we are the diamond that everybody missed. God knows I can't tell you how envious I am of the fact that if I could absolutely turn around and be 18 years old again, Lord have mercy, what I'd give. Now, this life has been tons of fun and lots and lots of good stuff. 
But the opportunity today in front of you is really off the chart. I congratulate all your instructors and all those that are making all this happen from your administration to our education folks, to the tourism folks, to everyone. Keep it going. I'm really, really proud of you. And absolutely, I want you to knock it so far out of the park, it's unbelievable. And I want you to do that in West Virginia. The greatest state, the best people, absolutely without any question, just look around. I mean, where is there a state? I hate to say this to George Clooney in California, but George goes out and complains a lot about West Virginia says, oh, I don't like coal or this or that, and he can't see across the street because of the smog. Look, look what this place is. The best of the best of the best. And you're not really very far away from a Kentucky Fried Chicken either. <laughs> Pretty good stuff. Baby doll thinks so too. So God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for having me. I want to get one more round of applause for the governor for his vision for getting tourism to where it was today. Where it is today. So if you think back four to five years ago, and you all know in this area, tourism was doing okay. We were puttering along. We were doing about the same every year. Governor came in and said, we need to invest. This is an area where our state can really grow, and today tourism is one of the fastest growing industries in our state. So thank you, Governor. On this particular project, I have to admit, I got myself in a little bit of trouble about six months ago. I went to him and said, Governor, I'm really excited. We've got about half of the counties in the state that are going to start tourism education this year. And he looked at me and said, what's wrong with the other ones? I said, I'll come back to you. So we are thrilled today to be teaching tourism in all 55 counties. So thank you all here in Nicholas County. We appreciate you all being a large part of the inspiration for making this happen, being the role model for the rest of the state. So thanks to everybody here, and I will be quiet because my guess is you want pictures with the governor and baby dog. So thanks to everybody for coming. Okay. If, if any of you want to come up here and say hi to baby dog, you can. I'll just sit right here with you, so come on. <laughs>